that was always my dream, you know, to be out there in, in really stormy, rough weather, painting dark forest. I think this is the day. Let's see if we are blown away or not. It may hurt, this will be the title of the exhibition. What does it mean? For me it's about basically about questioning. It means, do I really like that job I'm going in every day? Do I really love my partner in the relationship I'm in? Or for me, as an artist here, creating a painting, if I go into a direction, might be a blurry background theme, and suddenly I got stuck and I see, oh God, that was the wrong direction. So I have to be able to stop that, to erase it, to overpaint it, or to throw it away and make a new one. My name is Anne Seebacher. I'm an artist, and tomorrow I'm going to fly to Sweden, and there the Ore and try to create within the next three weeks a content for an exhibition. Yeah, for sure it will be tough and challenging because I have nothing in my hand, just sent the colors. And the question will be, will I make it in time? In 2019, on a sales trip in East Greenland, in Skorsbysund, where I met my now partner and wife, Linda Vassell, uh, we fully both love this uh, to be in nature and we are fully inspired, especially there with this tremendous abstract landscape and these free floating icebergs. So I made, I created a series of uh, photographs and uh, laid on prints, which we both brought to display in 2021 in Gallery Lux in Östersund. The title Anima Mina is based on the animistic cultures of that time in Greenland, which say that like in every stone, in every tree, in every fish, in every whale, in every bird, everywhere is a spirit. The universe in itself is mental. As I see it as an artist, this is the most important, is the one who is in there, yeah. the, the one who is the chef. Mm. And you seem to be the chef. Yeah, I'm the chef, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you start into that? Uh, was it always something you had on your side? or was uh, this I think I, I started as a, as a chef and I was working around in, in different kitchens. I always bought a, a, a picture from the place. Okay. Uh, I started buying art. It's more interesting than, than uh, furniture and, and so on in the, yeah. in the home. Yeah. And it can more express who you are and, and that was the beginning of yeah. it. Yeah, it was cool to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> That's always good to start with dirt. Yeah. This is the underlying thing of everything. Earth or dirt. Art, why I'm doing art. Yeah, for me, for first thing is for me to, to have a possibility to express things which are non-verbal. It started actually by that, that uh, it gave me the possibility to, to start to express underlying emotions, hidden, that was like a an access to a hidden chamber of my inner emotions. It was actually, the thought was about psyche, like going into something which I could not explain or talk about uh, from my childhood because it was never a theme to talk about those things. So that was, was actually the start. That uh, I guess that's everyone's, mostly everyone's uh, start in that uh, if, you, if you become an artist. But then, of course, when you are through that, then you realize that you have that tool now in your hand and that you have also the experience and the knowledge of what you discovered out of that. And this is then something you want to use for your artwork to, to reflect our zeitgeist, our contemporary times, issues, circumstances, to take them. It can be, it could be also just an object 
Let's get started. Let's go. To, to take it and to transform it and to mix it and to, to, to twist it in a way so that it is not that object anymore. So that uh, I can mirror it back to the spectator and they can like... I, I used this example once uh, about the king's yard to, to be something as an artist, something like, the, like a jester. I mean, you don't have to be a clown. That's another. That's another thing. A totally another thing, which is for entertainment, but could also show you things. But the chest is someone for me who is able to express and say things or do things which are fully hmm, not allowed for everyone to say it. Let's put it that way. Hi Maria, Hi. I'm so glad that you took time. Yeah. I see these this wall paintings here. In one way, uh, the paintings are pretty simple. Very simple. Yeah. 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 And this is, but this is also something which I really love, I have to say. This kind of style. It's not childish, but it brings out the, the inner being of that. Jamli is um, one of the biggest county museums in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, it was established roughly a hundred years ago. Already? Yeah. Uh -huh. Tell me more about your project. Uh, the theme will be more, it's, it's called It May Hurt, and that means you can see things uh, also which you probably don't want to see. So I didn't bring any stuff with me. I just sent up colors and I have to switch into a cream colors because I don't have the time that the paintings would dry in such a short time. So I'm, I'm, I'm fully here working now. And since a couple of days, luckily together with uh, Lars, he's really filming the whole process. So we had the action days out there in the forest in the storm building up the snuffly and the, the branches of the trees above me. That's lovely things. And if I put in my thoughts there, the outcome, sometimes I cannot control. So I made also like uh, masks and uh, put water into it, put them in the freezer, paint them back into the freeze and then I hang them and then melt and they made it on papers and so I have no control about what the outcome might be. So I love the experiment, uh, but usually when I'm back home, then I'm mostly like really painting. The love of my life is here, so... But she's also very often down there. The one who are who have feet, that's the men. And the one without feet, nice. those are the women who With wear dresses, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have to simplify it, no? Yes. They were standing outside of John Day. Yeah. And then the Swedish king was killed and they the troops were ordered to march back into Sweden. And they did that in midwinter. And they were actually caught up in a snowstorm. So 3,000 soldiers, they froze to death right outside of Åre because they, they, those who survived managed to come to Duve. Yeah. yeah. You see, you so see, we had been out on the lake uh, two days ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. In middle life, 
when the body has reached its climax of power and begins to lose it, is to identify yourself. What am I? Am I the, uh, the bulb that carries the light, or am I the light of which the bulb is a vehicle? Why should there be a start of something? And where should that start come out of? I mean, if there is nothing, no thing, nothing at all, nothing, why should there be something? The more you become transparent, the more this, this is shining through and acting through you or, or like uh, appearing in you, you act it out. Sunny Sunday Suicide is gone, a new painting appeared, uh, mostly with images from cave paintings here close by in the region, in combination with religious themes. But now I really try to go fully into myself, creating uh, an abstract painting, and the title will be George Lost the Battle. Finally, finally, it's their exhibition today. People are in there. I'm so happy, I'm so glad. It's a big relief and I'm so thankful for making that, for having that, uh, for taking that decision being here. And uh, I fully love it. We have uh, such a good atmosphere. And now we're gonna head on into the night. <laughs> 